let's go. Detroit ballin', it's part of the culture. It's a deep base, the trade you in the poster. You know the facts, so while we test the roaster. Killing your haze, deadly handles, I'll expose you. Cool composure. Team stack to win the chip. Act like I ain't told you. First round. What's up everybody? It's your boy Piston Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell button. 70% of you guys are not subscribed. I don't know why it don't cost you anything. Not even a nickel or dime. Let's get into today's video. Before we do that, check the link in the description for some cool piston gear. Also, follow the most legendary piston rider at Twitter in the link in the description. But um, the pistons have six, six club options. Um that we need to go through this season before we think about had, adding a high-level free agent or trading for a high-level player. Number one is Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes has a club option for $7.4 million. I do think that we um, keep Killian Hayes just because he adds a lot um, for coming off the bench. He is a really good coming off the bench point guard right now, and he does add a lot of provide on defense. He does shut down like people like Trey Young, um, which is very good. Um, can't deny that. Now, if we go with a guard like a Jay Nivey, I don't know. He could, he could not. Um, but personally, Killian Hayes will probably stay more than likely. Number two, um, is Luca Garza. Luca Garza might go uh, just because he's he is a hard working guy, don't get me wrong. It's a great story. But his weaknesses, you know what I'm saying, outweigh his strengths. And, and that's just being honest. If he doesn't get let go, they're gonna restructure his contract probably to a two way. Um number three, Frank Jackson has a three point one million dollar Club option, I think they let him walk. He's been a disappointment. He's been an injury riddle, injury hit, and I mean injury riddle throughout the whole season. Um, I would just let him walk, bro. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real with you and go get somebody else that can replace him. Um, number four is Isaiah Stewart. Isaiah Stewart has a club option. I think about four point five million. Isaiah Stewart staying, even if he's not the starting center, he will be a backup center that can fill that role and be great. I actually think if he became a backup center, he could average more points. He might average about 15 to 10 just because he don't think about it, and that will give us more firepower off the bench, which I'm not mad. Number five is Sadiq Berry. This is a no-brainer. Of course, he's going to be on the team. He's been lighting it up. He's had some games where, you know what I'm saying, he doesn't look, um, he he's not himself, but that's okay. He's trying to develop his game and become a better player, which is okay in my opinion. But Sadiq Bey, obviously a no-brainer. He stays, man. He's just been lighting it up this season. Um, number six, Hamadou Diallo. Hamadou Diallo has, I think, about a 3-2 three, three, or 3-1. Three, or $3 million one, he's definitely staying. He provides what a lot of um, Pistons don't provide on this team. He's a defensive guy. He loves to get into the passing lanes, and he's an explosive athlete. He's somebody off the bench that we definitely need to keep for around that price range, you know. And if he can ever get a jump shot, who knows? It would, it would help the Pistons dearly for the bench. He might become another, he might take another level or two to this game. But, I'm pissed at Mike, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell button. Who do you think will go and go or stay? I'm out. They all jumping in, pissed in mic, we take your flight, click like and subscribe, we can keep you right. Yeah, it's pissed in mic.